Research is very challenging. I think what I like about research is your finding is your own finding. You know, when we publish something, uh, we want to make sure that this is new data, new finding, so that the scientific population is going to look at it and then uh, they're going to take that to the next level. After the DNA progress, then it's going to So all the molecular bio majors, they all have to do um, a senior research thesis. I chose Professor Hagos as my number one option because I knew Professor Hagos offered a really hands-on lab, um, and I also know some students that took um, his senior research thesis and they said that it was a lot of work, but it was a really rewarding experience. So I, I stuck with it and I've enjoyed it ever since. It's been great. We're looking at this one gene, KLF4, um, and how it regulates DNA repair um, in cells and how it enhances genomic stability. Um, so KLF4 is a pretty special gene because depending on where it's found in the body, um, it can either act as an oncogene, which means it like stimulates cancerous proliferation, it stimulates um, cell growth, um, or it can act as a tumor suppressor. So we start with the cells, and then we treat them with some chemotherapy drug, uh, and then see to damage the DNA, and then with the presence and the absence of this gene, we try to understand what is really up and what is down, what kind of genes are going to be turned on or what kind of genes are turning down. Everything we do then is we have put it to put it together to understand the mechanism of, you know, how KLF4 works uh, to regulate uh, cells so that uh, we don't get cancer. You kind of grow to love um, the differences in each day. Um, I really like going into Western Blah. I just put on music because now it's like riding a bike. It's, it's something that I can do. Um, almost in my sleep, which is kind of funny because when we started at the beginning of this year, we couldn't even get past the first step. What Eden is doing is that's your da his data, that is his finding. He tried to interpret, if it fails, he tried to investigate what is going on, how is it going to solve these problems. And then hoping, you know, in the future, if we understand this, the main goal is to kind of create a therapy uh, or a targeted uh, kind of drugs, not necessarily maybe in my lab, but the students I'm training or scientific community can develop uh, something in, in that nature. I didn't know I could do this kind of stuff at Colgate um, and being able to do stuff with real world implications um, like colorectal cancer, which I think um, is maybe the fourth leading cause of cancer mortality in the U.S. Um, and maybe being able to contribute um, to help reduce that burden in any way um, I think is really impactful and I, I'm really happy that I get to be a part of this. When students are working in my lab, I don't care what GPA they have, I don't really care what background they have. The only thing I always ask and require is, uh, do you want to work in the lab? Are you excited about the science? At the beginning of the semester, you know, some of the students actually, why do I come to this lab? But then at the end of the semester, they, would, they don't want to go. They want <laughs> to stay and they want to do more and more. This is that the <laughs> By doing this, I feel like I'm serving uh, and by doing this, I'm feeling like, you know, uh, my students are really going from point A to point B, from Colgate to their next journey. Uh, so that's, that's extremely rewarding.